The site of Evans's home has served the people of Kilkenny for over 800 years. Refurbishing Evans's home presented a wonderful opportunity for the Butler Gallery to join this legacy and retain the site as a public place in the centre of Kilkenny City. Butler Gallery's interpretation screens tell you all about the history of the site spanning 800 years. The gardens at Butler Gallery offer a new public space in the city and a link to heritage sites and other city gardens such as Roth House, Butler House and Kilkenny Castle Gardens and the Burgage plots of the Merchant City. From the first floor windows of Butler Gallery you can see the icons of medieval Kilkenny, Kilkenny Castle, the former St Mary's Church, now the medieval Mile Museum, the Thalsall, St Mary's Cathedral and the Carnegie Library right in front. This 2011 sculpture by Janet Mullarney is entitled Byzantine One and is made of India black granite. Each arm weighs 1300 kilograms. Alan Cunahan's sculpture Flight Number no. 2 was made in 2001 of Kilkenny limestone. This sculpture is suggestive of a winged form seeking to rise from a tapered pedestal which anchors it to the ground. The carving of the work, using traditional stone splitting techniques, was an attempt to test the limits of the material with its sense of inherent weight, to suggest an inner life and longing for lightness, to subvert its condition. The sculpture expresses a desire for transformation and renewal. Annie Mollero is a Kilkenny-based artist whose inherent passion for nature can be seen in her collection of woodland creatures and animal sculptures. Hares are among the longest established of our native mammals and this stainless steel silhouette portrays the essence of this truly amazing animal in motion. Butler Gallery needs your support so that it can continue to keep its exhibitions free. So donate or become a friend today and join like-minded art supporters like me.